Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is episode 88 of our Big Blue Blonde play... Big Blue Blob playthrough. Big Blue Blonde, wow. Well, Millennium of the Making, you know, etc, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, we're France. We're not at war, which is surprising, but we will be shortly. Our main consideration in the war effort is I want to get at least Shengdi finished here and potentially start converting Beijing. Because as soon as we go into the war that we're looking for, which will be against Mauritania, the entire fucking coalition will join in. Which at this point it's not very big, it's uh, Mauritania, Delhi, uh, Shan. Actually, we do want to get Delhi involved. I just had a complete brain fart. Um, we're going to be attacking Delhi. The, there are a couple of problems with that. The first one is Turkestan. Attacking Delhi will draw in Turkestan. It may make Turkestan the war leader, in fact I kind of expect it to, otherwise Mauritania or Shun will probably be the war leader because of the coalition. The, own, the good news there is what we're going to do when we attack Delhi is it's going to be a cleansing of heresy. So, there we go. We're going to have an easier time forcing their conversion. That's all we want to do there. When it comes to the to Turkestan, that's actually going to give us a bit of an issue. It's going to cost us a fair amount of diplomatic power to do what we want. So, how do we go about fixing this? I mean, we need to declare war, maybe, let's have a quick check or something, no, so it has to be cleansing of heresy, because we want to force them to change their religion to Catholic, and I don't think we can do that on any of these other places, because most, well, they're the only Catholic nation, um, Protestant nation left apart from Afghanistan, and we're going to integrate Afghanistan when we can, after we attack Turkestan. So, hmm, how will we go about this? If we attack any coalition member, it will draw in Delhi, automatically. We can't declare on anybody else for cleansing of heresy, but we can't do it, it's not a thing. because nowhere else is Christian and not Catholic. If we declare anybody else, it'll just be a standard thing, and I don't think we can ask for that particular thing. However, if we declare on Delhi, they'll draw in Turkestan. And drawing in Turkestan... When's our truce with Turkestan run out? 95. If we declare war on Turkestan and draw it in themselves, and they'll they'll probably call on Delhi. So why wouldn't they? Hmm. Tricky. Very tricky. It'll draw in those two, and then we can engage them in their own separate things. We might be able to do something with Delhi in that case. I think that's our best bet. So we'll wait until 1695, declare war on Turkestan for whatever reason we have, get Delhi out of that and into its own separate peaceable arrangement. So do that. And then declare war on Mauritania for its shit. Right, that's our plan. Uh, I'd rather lose money than the admin power, thank you very much. And until that plan finishes, we're going to be looking over here into California. The issue in California is that there are going to be rebellions because of the uh, swift rate of conquest, if you will. So we may be looking at attacking the Aztecs. That's fine, that's fine. I don't mind losing the Conquest Castle Spell I against Alaska. But I feel like we just lost something else which we should keep. 
Yep. Ray on. <coughs> and finished fabricating in Mauritania. Just a little bit more. And of course we're waiting for our nationalist bodies to declare independence in Shun. We are getting some armies up, which is good. For them, not for us, not for our antics. Are we still supporting rebels? We are, we're supporting the Manchurians up, up there, that's fine. We should probably actually cancel that support. They don't need it. They've rebelled. And in fact, if we come back, we'll start supporting the, re the peasants or something. And that'll probably give them a lot more rebellion chances. They've already got some good rebellion chances. Adding another 4% to that's worthwhile. And funny. Don't forget funny. <coughs> That's fine. Korea entered the military coalition. That is also fine because I can crush Korea in a moment. And like, you know, not like a moment from now, but there's two provinces. They go along the same line. There's no way for them to run. All I need to do is have these guys down here and they would crush them. Ah, another two months and we might finally have enough um, admin power to do what we want to do. Rise up, my little rebel friends. Rise up. The Turks are insulting us. For reasons. Gonna fabricate some more claims up there, so you know. Deal with it. Um, Turkestan, I think, because we got yeah, those ones in the line there. <coughs> nah, we'll handle that, that's easy. It's not even our revolt. Or oh, it is our revolt, but not associated with the one we were funding. Manchu nationalists, but they're all done. We're kind of waiting for California to get its act together and put in cores on these damn provinces. These free, they've got a claim on two of them, so that should be quick for them. But it doesn't let me see if they're actually doing anything there. Which is annoying. I mean, we can see they're at plus 2.2 percent overextension. Which, if we look at our own, like that's rebellion risk due to overextension. If we look at ours, we're 54 percent, and we have a plus 2.7. So they're probably at about 50 percent overextension right now. Probably. You know what, I'm going to go take the Sioux lands before the Aztecs do, because they're sort of annexing shit. They're allied with the Shawnee. I don't think that'll draw the Aztecs in, but if it does, I'm ready for them. Because the Aztecs are guaranteeing the independence of the Shawnee. We do need a diplomat though, so we're just going to wait for this guy. Oh, we've almost got our colony in um, Hawaii as well. It's nice. I don't particularly care about it. But it's nice. Declare war, colonial conquest, go. Now we'll see what happens. They have not brought 
put in no, we lost a claim down here well we better get that back when we can they have not joined in the war as yet honestly I find it hard to think that they oh there we go Shawnee are in the war that's fine uh, we just got colonial enthusiasm wonderful take to Denny in two different ways or reduce overextension I'm gonna go for take to Denny in the way which gives us more shit okay so this is good this is good it's put us at war with the Shawnee and Sue Sue without dragging in the Aztecs And, I mean, that's the important thing. I mean, they're guaranteeing the independence of the Shawnee, but they're not able to do anything about it. Which, uh, that's kind of a cool thing, isn't it? Now, I think one more to do there. Thank you. One guy home from Ayatoya. Don't care about Shamper at this point in time. You guys are good, you guys are good. We need a claim fabricated in Delhi. Yep, that's fine. Uh, the colonies are being annoying. Can either lose 50 Diplo, 25 Prestige, or have a bit of Liberty Desire play around. Let's have a look at Liberty. So we're looking at German Peru and Guyane. Great. Which one are these? Well, there's German Peru. They're at 26%. And Guyane is at 24%, so it doesn't really matter. Except Guyane makes us more money. So pop it like that. I'm not even sure if it did what it said it was going to. I've noticed previously it doesn't with that particular event. We attacked in Tongren, that's fine, they're good. Check on the capital again. How we doing, Cap? Good, you've been building. Um, as long as it doesn't cost admin power, I am good to go for it. So, we're going to give you a marketplace. Or. No, we're going to give you the army stuff. So, we'll start with an armory. Sounds good. Okay, blokes home from the Sioux. That's fine. Bloody peasants. Where are my rebe rebels at? Come on, guys. Yeah, we lost a general, that's fine. Wasn't the guy up here. I see the Shawnee are coming to the party. So just move this guy up to deal with them. Give them a new general. <coughs> and that'll sort matters out right quick while California actually besiege... No, California move through to try and take them down themselves. Okay. I mean, I guess you can do that if you want. Oh hey, we should be able to um, start coring Beijing. Peace off from Su, which is they will concede defeat. That's eh, not really what I'm after. You guys can back the fuck up, because you're not needed. Though go to a more central location, such as Yakutat. Yeah, we're just going to wait for that one. Maybe California will do as a solid and uh, hit up the other guys. Alright, let's get one on Kashgar. Do we need one on Kashgar? No, that was this thing over here. You know, I think we're pretty much... Hmm, we can't get one on Signac. We'll get one on Zetsu. Why not? Pretty much got everything over in Shun that we need. That being said, there are some uh, coastal provinces that we could look into. 
We have enough for Zhao? We do not, but we don't have one on Wen Zhao. Get it sorted. And then Zhang took a big chunk out of Champa. <coughs> Bad. Great, we converted Tongren. Is that 100%? Yes, though Shengdi does still need to be converted. Yeah, sure. Korean Patriots. Ah, oh, yeah, we're fine there. Wasn't too many of them. Um, hmm. Yeah, renew the promise, whatever. Ugh. Bloody trade companies. Alright, that's everything fabricated in Mauritania, which is good. Might as well fabricate some more in Lanzang, because now they've got, they've got a province that we could use. Ah, Manchu has been released! And they have a truce of Shun. Guess who they don't have a truce with? Us. Now one thing we need to make sure of there... Yep, so they do have a claim on Beijing. And they are not a western nation, they're a nomad group. We got this. We got this so hard. Stop coring Beijing. Stop that right now. We do not have to do that. Piss off from the zoo. Fuck off. You guys. You don't want it because you've got a negative opinion of us. That is fine. What about a royal marriage? Yeah, you take that. It is going to cost us a bit of... Um, diplomatic relations, that's fine though, because I'm going to cut our royal marriage with Cannonball New when we get a dude back. So that's good, that's very good. Shangdi is part of patrimony, perfect, let's get it converted. Okay, so, that's that done as well. Get on the boat. We'll take you down to these lands down south. Because, you know, apparently the Californians don't want to do anything. Well, I lie, they're going there. So, maybe they do. But we'll help them out. And these guys have a conquistador on as well, so I'm actually going to get them to try and do the move. When they make landing. Right, our diplomat is home. Now. Base tax of 8. Base tax of 5. Base tax of 11. That comes to 24. That is still doable. That's fine. I need to get a guy there to actually do the relationship enhancement. Off you go. And when the guy comes out of Wen Zhao, we'll send him around the place. We're basically going to give them Beijing. And they'll love us for it. And they shouldn't have any issue with it because it's one of their cores. So it's already cored, they shouldn't have too much in terms of risk. <coughs> Good. 
good. That guy's coming back. Nope. Guys should have made landfall over here. Yes, they certainly have. Try and get in there. They won't be able to, but that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so we are sending... A, we've got a guy there doing that. We are being reputation sabotaged. That's just going to be an issue. Um... I'm going to give them... No, I can't sell them for province because we're at war. I'm going to give them some subsidies. Say 50 bucks. That'll do for 20 years. Rich peasants in Masapa. That's fine. Deal with it. And because we're making so much money, recall him and tick, tick, yep, tick, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't put one there, can put one there. That should be fine. Okay, Diplomat is home. I am going to claim a guarantee of them. So, their main objection is the reputation and the border friction. The reputation is easy. We just have to wait for it. And I'm also going to send them a gift in a moment. Because we're just trying to get that alliance with them right now. Hold up, do we have military access? We will. And that's when we'll help them out. Thank you, my friends. Now we go in and we help them. And we liberate their lands, and that should assist. Ah, yeah, whatever. I don't care about that support rebels bullshit anymore. Quick fight against nobody in particular. Now we fix up the land for them, and did we get anything for it? Apparently not. Alright, bro. Uh, we can offer military access, but I don't think they need it. Nope. Did we send them a gift already? We did not. Let's send them a gift. We just need to get their opinion of us above zero. And I feel that we'll have something good there. Not much else we can do here. Thank you. So just leave it for a little bit. If we get the notice that the sabotage reputation is gone, then we'll hit them up nice and hard. Ah, there's a Sarge. Wonderful. So they're allied to the Aztecs. The Shock Tour are allied to the Aztecs at the Caddo, which are probably that one there. There's the Navajo are not allied with anybody. As soon as we take the Shawnee lands off them, we'll give that all to California and everybody will be happy. You know, sort of. Um, let's see. Where's Karakum? Oh, actually, where's Zangaria? That one there? I don't want to claim on that one. Not even, must be that body of water doing that. We'll start, where is it? We'll start. Right there. Let's get one on Karakum, that one's fine. Go for it. Anything else down here? No, 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 no. Ah. Yeah, sure, whatever.
<coughs> well, the good thing is that Manchu are Catholic, apparently. They're just having a little bit of difficulty converting themselves. Sort of rebels to have peasants and Confucian zealots. That's fine. I'm not going to help out either of those. Our relations, our improved relations, will eventually get us this alliance. Let's see who are their enemies? Do they have enemies? No. I mean. Technically, no. Kind of wish I'd supported them all the way through because then we would have an alliance with them already and they'd love us. Military tech is quite high. Let's check out capital again, real quick. Yeah, build some training fields, that's great. And what's going on over here? Ah, we took it. Beautiful. Super peace. Full annex. Done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And same up here. Super peace. Full annex. Done. And now I'm just going to take their leader away from them. Get these guys to the dock. So, because everybody here seems to be allied with the Aztecs, except for those little dudes in there. Oh, I remember we were building guys down here. Thank you. You can have the Conquistador. And just go on a little bit of an explore right now. Just see how we go. It'll be fun. Also, it'll help us colonize more down there. <coughs> I think the Navajo are going to be our next uh, slash. But we really do need to watch out for these guys in their overextension. We can't force California to take too much land, or they'll just end up dead. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Noble rebels in Germanic Canada for some reason. Okay. Whatever you reckon, guys. So, of this strip of land over here, once we are able to, we just need to colonize Roatan ourselves, and that'll lock Peru and Guyane into appropriate borders. And then we can colonize down here whenever we want and over here whenever we want and just do Brazil and La Plata by themselves. The Louisiana-Columbia border should be fairly easy as should the California-Louisiana border because it's already owned. It's only when it's not owned that you've got to start worrying about what the fuck is going to happen. Ah, oh, we're at plus one. How about an alliance? Perfect. No idea how I'm going to get them to uh, a higher value, though. There's one prestige. We need 190. I mean, we can get 53 more from improved relations, and another 50 from losing the sabotage reputation. That will get us to plus 159. We get another 6 from receiving subsidies, which brings us to 165. We've already given them a gift. I don't really have anything else I can do there for them. Oh. Of course. I'm going to give them fucking Beijing. But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to do it when we're ready. Because that value will fade. Do they want Beijing? 
They went a lot of places. I'm not going to give them all to them. Just having a look to see where they actually have cores. So we've got one there. They do have one in Hexi. They've actually got a few up this way. So potentially we could give them that land, but we want to be wary of not putting them over the uh, vassalization mark. If we put them over that, then what's the point of what we've done? Right? I wish I could offer to transfer the trade power to them. I'm going to make things a lot easier. So they do have a Cassus Belli on us. But well, that ain't a thing. Ain't gonna worry me. Alright, our truces have expired. And that means that next time, we'll go to war. So in the meantime, uh, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.